bienvenidas, bienvenidas y bienvenidos al último partido de la fase de grupos para México en el torneo Esperanzas de Tulón. El torneo Morir reveló que está llegando a su recta final y hoy México, tercero del grupo, se mide a Corea del Sur, último de este sector y es muy fácil la ecuación. México necesita ganar para así pelear, aunque sea por el tercer lugar. Ya estaremos detallando porque no es ganar únicamente, eh, por ejemplo, en los penales, como ya ocurrió. No, 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 no. México necesita ganar en los 90 minutos. Y más después de lo que pasó en su última presentación frente a Costa de Marfil, en donde vimos a un equipo mexicano endeble y recibiendo bastantes goles. 4 por 1 perdieron contra Costa de Marfil. Mi nombre es Daniel Barba y hoy junto a Joaquín El Capi Beltrán les estaremos llevando todos los detalles, todos los pormenores de este partido en el Stade Parsemain en Fort sur mer en la Costa Sur francesa. Capi, ¿cómo estás? Muy buenos días. ¿Cómo estás, Dani? Muy buenos días para ti, para la gente que nos acompaña. Bien lo dices, ¿no? México tiene que mostrar una cara diferente, ¿no? Y, y ¿sabes qué? Hacer ajustes en defensa. Ha recibido por lo menos dos goles en cada uno de los partidos que ha eh, jugado y, y eso es producto eh, sobre todo de desconcentraciones y de errores propios. Ya saltan al terreno de juego. Estaremos detallando más aspectos en instantes. Primero escuchamos respetuosamente la ceremonia de los himnos nacionales. que sea uno bueno para la selección mexicana de fútbol que ha tenido quizás eh, menos descanso que otros eh, y es que no arrancaron jugando en la jornada inicial y desde entonces no se han detenido esto es lo que manda Jae Jong Choi el técnico surcoreano con Han Ming Jung Kan Lee el capitán Jeong Hong Kim Ho Jung Park y Kim Gyeonman eso es lo que manda a la cancha el equipo de los leones asiáticos. Y ahí está la señorita Ancino. ¿Qué les parece si así llamamos respetuosamente a la árbitra central? Sus asistentes con nombres un poco más fáciles de pronunciar. Pero lo voy a intentar. Lo voy a intentar, Capi, para que no digan que no. La referí del día de hoy se llama Ancino Tuan Yan Yukua. Es de Namibia. Ojalá que muy bien, muy no bien, suframos sí. tanto con los demás nombres. Eh, y vamos a ver, también Todo está prácticamente listo para que comience el partido. Decíamos, México necesita ganar sí o sí en los 90 minutos. ¿Por qué? Porque Francia ya jugó sus cuatro partidos. Francia descansa en esta jornada. En los 90 minutos. La árbitra pita. México mueve. Y la pelota comienza a rodar. Una nueva historia. La última de esta fase de grupos. Estará por escribirse junto a Joaquín del Capi Beltrán. John. 
Now finds Park. Kang. Gets the ball into that far side, picked up by Kim. Gets the away by Leone. Taken down by Diego Medina. Park Jio is Kim. Long range shot easily gathered by Han. That'll do his confidence to power a good. The goalkeeper coming in for his first appearance of the tournament. So Rodriguez will take. By Lee. And the volley shot was always going high and wide there. Plenty of power behind it, just no direction. Alan Bautista with his armor raised there. And it is Bautista to deliver, and he got too much on it. He's in danger of a suspension, should he be booked today? Asiga. This is the problem for South Korea as they try and get play it out from the back. Quite often they will give away possession. Asiga. With the shot from Pat Fabuzzi that field, but it's not really South Korea's style. Oh, this is a beautiful run. And the finish into the side netting from Ramiro Asiga. Past a couple of defenders, then another. Angle was always tight. To beat Han on his near post. Bautista. Asiga. In towards Martinez. Good touch to get it away from the defender, but also took it far too close to Han Jong Sung. Min Jung. Now, four against three at the moment in favor of Mexico. Martinez in the middle. Asiga looking for support. Bautista. This is Monroy. Just for a moment, the defender didn't quite know where that was, but it had come off uh, Zhou Jinho. And it will be a Mexico corner. Played across by Medina. Straight off Zhou. Let's go up for the ball. It's won, though, by the captain, Lee. South Korea might be on the charge here. Kim Jeon Am has picked up. Jung wants it in the middle. Kim. Support here from Jo. <laughs> Safety first from Jesus Alcanta. And South Korea get their first corner of the match. Pretty much everybody except Min Jun forward for South Korea. And the referee has some sorting out to do. Bit of bumping and barging. Kang. Towards Lee. Got his header towards goal as well. The captain. Tapia with a relatively comfortable save to make. Very vocal, very active, the South Korean coach, Choi Jae Young. Lee with a long free kick, looking for Jung. Hong goes for goal, and that was heading in as well until Fernando Tapia was able to push it over the bar. Effort struck with real power here. Spotted the angle, was there. Huge curl on the ball as well. And Tapia does well. Yeah. 
Had to go through a gap that was rapidly closed. Away by Monroy. Song goal. But it has been Fernando Tapia who's had to make the most noteworthy save. Forward by Lee. Hong. Again tries his lap from distance. This time it was always rising. His first appearance of the tournament. We are past the half hour mark. Martinez fouled by Kang. And the referee might want to take a bit of further action here against the defender. And indeed, it will be a Kuk Dong Hyun. Free kick is a deep one. It's away though by Kim. One back by Asiga. Blocked by Zhou. It is Rodriguez who goes direct for goal and the goalkeeper's behind it at the second attempt. Monroy will take. Yeah, not too far. Chance for the shot and it was quickly closed down. Considerable personal cost to the uh, defender involved as he lunged in to try and... Goalkeeper has come with a long, strong, clear shout, but he came a long, long way off his uh, goal line. And that indeed is the last action of the first half in Fossumer. Mexico with quite a bit of possession in this first half, but as they look to finish second in Group A, they haven't been able to really to do too much to it. And indeed, Fernando Tapia has been the busier of the two goalkeepers. South Korea nil, Mexico nil. South Korea in the all red, Mexico in the all brown. Garcia. Monroy turns it back from Ryu. Ryu easily shown the wrong way by Tapia there, the goalkeeper. In France, if uh, Mexico rather were to win that, it would take them up to seven points, but the goal difference is such that France would still finish second, despite the fact that both teams will be on seven points. Tapia. Lee steps away from Arcega. Lee, Minjun on this near side. Might be able to try again here. A touch, will it go behind for a corner? It will indeed. There'll be another corner on that far side. Jose Rodriguez and Fidel Ambris coming on. Diego Gomez, midfielder, one of those uh, making way. And Diego Medina is the other player who is coming off. Jose Rodriguez, a uh, defender. Fidel Ambris, midfielder. And that might well mean that uh, Emilio Rodriguez is going to move forward with Asiga switching across to the right-hand side now. Easily away. 
Now, this can be controlled by Luca Martinez, it can. Emilio Rodriguez. Across, and the goalkeeper, well, he got a block to it, and that was a bit fortunate. Put back by Kim. It's Kim Jionan. All loses out, Minjun. Pablo Monroy. Driven across two in the area, Rodriguez couldn't reach it. Emilio Rodriguez scored what proved to be the decisive winning goal against Saudi Arabia. Two games. Now one as a substitute for the last two in the group. The problem here for the Mexican player is that chance that could have gone anywhere, really, as it came off. And from Jong. Jong is beaten to it, though. Away comes Arciga. Romero Arciga. Martinez leaves it. Rodriguez. Excellent defending. Time the fullback as Emilio Rodriguez. That's it, his chances of scoring. Header from Hong. Chase on for Rio on that far side. Rio Sung Wan. Support from Joe. Joe will go for goal. Goalkeeper's taken it with a punch and with a save again from Hong. Didn't really get the best of punches on it though, at Tapia at first. Mexico survive. Rodriguez. Bit of room here for Bautista. Works it across to that far side. Arcega. Trying to take on Ryu. Goalkeeper will gather. This is Rodriguez's shot. It could have rebounded almost anywhere off the goalkeeper. Here is that moment. And the goalkeeper here, well, could have punched that pretty much anywhere, but he didn't really get it out of the danger area at all. And then a good save. Right, we will have the water break now. And we're going to get a double change for Mexico at the same time. It's an Ion and Efrain Alvarez, two attack-minded players, are going to come on and they're going to replace Bautista and Martinez. Yeah. Well, are we going to have the water break? No, it was the double change. <laughs> and now we will have the cooling break. We'll be looking to make the breakthrough in the time that remains. Rio up against Monroy. Rio goes for goal, and again the goalkeeper punches it away. This time it's safe. Certainly on target. Ion. Here is Etzen Ion. Ion got underneath it. Alvarez had made a little run just ahead of him as well and had the pass come in, Ivory Coast. And there's going to be a change for South Korea as well. Jung-min Ahn. Defender is going to come on for them. Chance at the other end there. Yo. Jose Rodriguez. <laughs> Emilio Rodriguez. Jorge Rodriguez. Wins a corner. You know, Asiga is the player who will be replaced by Monreal. And Monreal immediately goes into the penalty area, hoping to get on the end of this one. Garcia. Ambrez looking to pass it into the corner. Goalkeeper's made a save, and the flag is up on the far side. It won't count. Ricardo Monreal offside. Uh, 
Change will be made. Corner kick. Right. Down towards goal. Monreal. If he'd got a little bit more power behind that, we might well have been looking at 1 0. Two against one. Rodriguez gets there ahead of Moon. Monreal found by Alvarez. Monreal's ball into the middle. Just headed away. And that's a foul. Held up by Ion. Monreal on that far side. Fourth official prepares to show us how much additional time is to be played. Taken down by Ion. A little chip into the middle. Offside. Mexico show much more attacking ambition since the changes. And the header from Monreal. Gal so many more chances in the latter stages of this match for Mexico than they'd created. Keeper with a strong shout. And it landed on the roof of the net. It is a goal kick. Ryu. Ryu. Turns it into the middle this time. The goalkeeper holds on to it. Tapia, and it's a good job he did as well. Goalkeepers now called into action. We will have a penalty shootout to determine who will take the extra bonus point. Peace, there's another bonus point on offer in the shootout, which comes soon. And the 90 minutes, South Korea nil, Mexico nil. And it will be Mexico who will go first. Of course, be a rather long lecture now from the referee just to remind the goalkeepers of the fact they have to stay on their line. OK, you can be one foot on the line, but don't be like this. Uh, no, no, no. On the line, uh, and then you catch. Okay. okay. If not, yellow card. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. In the middle. In the middle. On the body. No, 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 no. In the middle. The boy here. Yes. Bruce insisting that the ball's in the middle of the spot, but it can be any. Alcantara then. Just beyond the goalkeeper. It looked as he was going to. And just beyond the despairing dive of Han. Now Fernando Tapia. In it goal. First up, Jung Song Wu. Straight down the middle. And Briz then up against Han Jong Sio. 2 1. <laughs> Goalkeeper saved it though. <laughs> Advantage Mexico. Comfortable height, comfortable distance. Number Monroy, the captain of Mexico today, up against Han Jeon Sung. Again, the goalkeeper goes the wrong way. Three out of three for Mexico. Long pause. Moon. Waited for the goalkeeper. It was it Tapia? Then saw the ball agonizing and roll the other side of him. Good. This then to win it. It's Jose Rodriguez. Into the top corner. And that has put them firmly the next penalty. Mexico will take the bonus point. And 
does so just be 4-3 Tapia almost got that Alvarez scored on his full international debut against uh, for Mexico by far keep this penalty shoot out alive he can't five out of five for Mexico and they win the shootout and take the extra bonus point South Korea to end with a point though from the draw their first point of this tournoi, Maurice Ravello, Group A. Mexico, though, winning the shootout. They move on to seven points. Two penalty shootout wins for them in those seven points. And they have won this one here in Fossumer, 5-3.